This is Jack Dalton. I'm, I'm standing outside the Patala Palace. <coughs> below the Patala Palace, along a pilgrimage route, or Kora, that goes around the base of the Patala Palace. Pilgrims, Tibetan pilgrims, circumambulate the Patala Palace along this route, or Kora, as a way of paying reverence to the Dalai Lama, whose winter residence was the Patala Palace, and reverence to the Buddhist divinities as well. Here along the walls of the Kora, below the Patala Palace, are two, sh two small shrines festooned with offerings and, pr and prayer scarves, blessing scarves known as kata. On the left we see the image of Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva of compassion, the most important divinity in Tibetan Buddhism. On the right, we see the image of... Hello. Hello. Kilo. Kilo. On the right, we see the image of Manjushri, the Bodhisattva of Wisdom, who brandishes a sword and holds a book to combat ignorance, one of the obstacles to salvation in Tibetan Buddhism. By paying their respects to Manjushri, Avalokiteshvara, and the other Buddhist divinities, as well as by making this pilgrimage around the Patala Palace, these Buddhist pilgrims are generating merit for themselves, spiritual merit, or karma, positive karma, for themselves, and for all sentient beings in this most compassionate religion, Tibetan Buddhism. Above the pilgrimage route looms the Patala Palace the fortified winter palace of the Dalai Lama from which he administered both the political and religious affairs of Tibet. This aspect of the Patala Palace is the back side of the Patala Palace. Thousands of Tibetan pilgrims circumambulate the Patala Palace along the Kora route today, the pilgrimage route today. It's one of the greatest sites of religious devotion in all of the world's religions. Quite something to behold, a privilege to witness and be a part of. Well, I'm going to explore other aspects of the sacred city of Lhasa now. This is Jack Dalton.
signing off from the pilgrimage route or Korra just below the Patala Palace.